Hey, every now and again, something exciting comes along and have I got some amazing news for you right now. Code Snippets Cloud is now online. You're probably going, well, yeah, Code Snippets, I can get it for free from the WordPress repository. But did you know that Code Snippets Cloud, this is what the pro was all leading up to, an area where we can start to store our favorite or our collection of code snippets and not just our code snippets but it's the code snippets of other people, experts. So now we can all access it in one place. All you gotta do is log in or register. And by the way, registering is super simple. Put your email in and your name and all of that, and away you go. Now what's super cool about it is that once you're logged in, you can now access your code snippets. Not only that, you can upvote. So if you find a snippet and you think, wow, this is a really cool snippet, I love it, you can upvote it. You can also comment on other people's snippets and people might comment on yours as well. Bear in mind though, when you do add a snippet, it does have to be approved because the last thing they would want on here is to have loads of snippets which don't make sense or break your website, which Code Snippets is really good at protecting you, by the way. But let's just have a look at the interface. So Obviously, welcome Imran Sadiq. And over here, I've already added in five snippets. What we have is the area for public snippets. So these can be viewed by anyone in the world. We also have private snippets. So maybe there's a snippet that's very particular to my client or my website, and I don't really wanna share it to the whole world. I could still store it here. Now, the basis of the Code Snippets Cloud is for you to keep your snippets all in one location. If you're an agency or a freelancer, or you have many websites, what if you've got different snippets on every single website? Do you even remember that snippet that you had for WooCommerce? Well, which website was it on? And you now got to trawl through and find it. Well, now it's all going to be in one super duper place. There is a how to start section. It's very simple documentation. What it asks you to do is to set up a vault. Now I've set up a vault for myself and what that means is all of my codes will stick into that location. It's almost like you're setting up a folder for yourself. If you don't do that, your codes are gonna kind of fall all over the place. So please make sure you set that up. It's really easy. All you do is hit click here and it says, give, me, give us a name. So if you have a company name, you might wanna call your vault the company name. I, when I say company name, I mean like Web Squadron, or you might say Imran's favorite snippets, which sounds a little bit weird, doesn't it? But let's just go with that for now. And then all you gotta do then is create your snippet. And there's many ways to do that. So if I just go back a step, you can either hit the plus sign here or hit create snippet. I'm just gonna hit the plus sign for now. And I'm gonna give this a snippet name. So I'm gonna remove the order notes bit that you have on the WooCommerce checkout. What if none of your products have any order notes? So I'm just gonna do that. Now, as soon as you put in a title, it automatically generates a slug. I would recommend you maybe refine this, but make it easy to understand for anyone else in future as well. Now we get to decide on the categories and I'm gonna go for WooCommerce. Now you do have a toggle. Is this a private snippet or is this public for anyone in the world to access? Now I've just said add it to code snippets and run everywhere. Maybe it can only be run in certain locations or maybe it needs to be added to a widget. You know, so if there's anything in particular you need to advise people on, please make sure you add that here. Now I'm gonna scroll down and there is no YouTube video that goes along with this. Normally I do have a video, but I don't have one at the moment. And I am now gonna decide, is it a JavaScript? Is it a PHP, a WordPress function? I'm just gonna go and put it in a script for now. And I'm gonna drop this in over here. By the way, you know, you do have different options. So it might be for CSS style. It might be you have a complete HTML template. Maybe you've got something that's got HTML, um, the style and the script kind of thing, like what other websites kind of do as well. So you could add all of that into here. You know, you got a favorite bit of funky, gunky code, get it in there, let the world know about it. And then I'm gonna hit save snippet. That snippet basically is now, well, it's available for me to go in and look at it and I can copy it and copy it over to Code Snippets, but it's not until it's been approved. And at the moment it is under review. Um, I added in five snippets about 10 hours ago and they were all approved. Um, well, I, I slept during the night, but they were approved the, the next morning. So it, it does work for you. You can see the details down here, the description, any instructions, an example of the code. Now here's what's great. You could leave a comment and say, this is very complicated. Have you thought about doing it a different way? Have you thought about maybe using this code instead? 
and there could be a link into another code. Now, if I just go back over to my snippets, and if you scroll down, you will see the snippet that is under review. At the moment, you can't go in and edit it, and I hope they add that feature in later on at some point, but then again, I do understand why not, because maybe if they're, if it's now in like in someone's task management list to approve it, if someone goes and modifies it, it just creates extra bit of work. But I can now go in and access my code. So I've got one here for disabling the e-icons from Elementor. I wanna use it on another website. I just go into it and I can copy it. What's also very good is that I could edit the code as well. Look at that, I can go in and edit it. Remember, you can't do it on one that's on review, but once it's approved, you can go in and do that. Now, what if I wanna find someone else's code because I wanna just have a check, like, I wanna know if there is something else that exists out there. And don't forget, this is the beta version of uh, Code Snippets Cloud. It will grow for sure. I, I have a I have a really good feeling that this is gonna become a beast of a product. And I really hope it does because I love the creators behind this. But if I hit the search icon over here, this is now gonna allow me to start searching. So if I search in for woo, look at all the, look at all of the codes that come through. Let's just get rid of the word woo. I could also use some of these options down here. Bear in mind, this is still beta, it's just come out. So this is likely to grow, but we have some elemental ones. We have some WooCommerce codes as well. And look, there's, there's quite a few popping up here already. And I think it is super fantastic that people are already starting to contribute. This just went live, like, I don't know, 12 hours ago or something. Found out about it, I jumped in, I had a look and I was pleasantly surprised and pleased at how intuitive and easy this is to use. Having all of your codes in one place for you to access makes things so much easier and simpler. And if you're not familiar with code snippets, let's just go over to WooCommerce. If I decided I wanted um, this code over here, which is an alphabetical sorting to WooCommerce, let me hit go. I'm gonna go down and hit copy. I could go over to my code snippets plugin, which is free, code snippets WordPress repository. I'm gonna to go to snippets and I'm gonna hit add new. I would give it a title, which I could actually pick up from what's in Code Snippets Cloud as well. I'm just gonna paste that code there. Let's just go back over. Let's just get the title it's already given us. Why not? Add it in, double check the instructions. Is it saying I need to do anything else? No, seems fine. So I could just go in now, save changes and activate. And away we go, that is now activated for us. I could even go in and go, hey, I really like this, so I'm gonna upvote it, which I already have. Or I could downvote it, which I won't do. But it allows you to kind of give your praise and love for some of the snippets that people have put time into. And I might even put a comment in here. Well done, love it. Why not, hey? I mean, I, of course, you don't want this to become like a social media like forum but it is a great way that you could now just give that love back. And at the same time, if you find the snippet like fails or breaks your website, which to be honest, if you're using code snippets, it will roll back, gives you the option to roll back so your website is protected. But what if you find a fundamental flaw in that code, you could hit report and report it back to them. But this is so simple and easy. I mean, this is just crazy. You're registered, you can then add your snippet in, you can search for other snippets, you can upvote, you can edit. What is there not to like about it? I'm a big fan of code snippets. I've done many videos on it, but this is amazing. I love it. You gotta sign up, you gotta register. Let's start getting the codes in. Imagine if we can find snippets that mean you don't have to install plugins. What if there's a WooCommerce plugin out there? and someone is able to crack it in a good way and find the code that we need to use. What if we could do that and start sharing a lot of the intelligence and experience that we have? Code Snippets Cloud, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and join the cloud. I'll see you there. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.